Hey there, beautiful people. Welcome back to Inner Circle Universal Royalty. I see your family art show exhibition showcase. Today, we've been featuring an art exhibition at Christie's Auction House located at 20 Rockefeller Plaza, Manhattan, New York. This is a beautiful bronze sculpture by William Willem de Kooning. De Kooning. Let me get the name right. William de Kooning. Uh, this is a 20th century piece that will be uh, on sale at the auction, at the Christie's evening sale auction. We are right now outside uh, Christie's auction house, and I'm going to take you inside to take a look at some of the amazing artwork on display uh, for the auction that is coming up. Yes, millions of dollars worth of artwork. And we're going to talk about some of my favorite pieces. And I'm just going to give you a, a quick review or overview of all the artwork on display for the auction. Once again, don't forget to hit that subscribe button on your way in and on your way out. Don't forget to hit that like and share button. Welcome to Christie's Auction House, 20 Rockefeller Plaza. Yes, let's go. It's going to be a beautiful art show. Okay. We're going to briefly talk about this piece. This piece is an Andy Warhol and Basquiat uh, collaboration. Uh, the piece is called GE slash Skull. Uh, this is a collaboration, like I said, between Andy Warhol and Basquiat. Uh, this piece is on the evening, evening sale at the Christie's Auction House auction. Take a look at all the detail in the pieces. Of course, you can identify Basquiat's contribution to the to the piece. His signature uh, childlike uh, drawings, and of course. Warhol's screen print style painting. The two together is called GE slash skull. These are two of my favorite artists. I'm going to be featuring some more work from them throughout the show. Once again, Andy Warhol and Basquiat, G, E, and Skull. Yes, another Basquiat piece on display for the post-war contemporary evening sale. This piece, let's take a look at the card on display. As you can see, this piece is called his glue sniffing valet and is estimated at six million to eight million. But I'm pretty sure it's gonna go for more than that. This is a large basket piece. Let's take a look at some of the details in the painting.
Well done. Once again, like I said, this piece is called His Glue Sniffing Valley by Jean-Michel Basquiat. Here we are, another installation piece by Jeff Coons. This piece is by the artist Jeff Coons and is titled Lobster. Here at Christie's Auction House for 20, 20th century, 21st century evening sale. These pieces that I'm showcasing will all be on auction. This piece is actually estimated at, you can see for yourself, let's focus in on that for you, 3.5 million to 5.5 million. Jeff Coons, Lobster. This is from 21st century evenings. This is a beautiful Bansky, you know, the British artist that uh, leaves his work all around the city. He was famous for leaving all his work on uh, walls around the city, everywhere he traveled. Uh, you can recognize his style of uh, graffiti art, as they would call it. Uh, this piece is estimated at, let's take a look so you can see for yourself, three to five million dollars. It is called Diamond in the Rough. Once again, Banksy. Beautiful. Okay, okay, we're here again. This is a Pablo Picasso masterpiece from the Sir Sean Connery's collection. This is a Pablo Picasso here at Christie's Auction House on display for the art exhibition and auction. Yes, this piece was a part of Sean Connery's collection, and this is from the 20th, 21st century art evening sale. There is Mr. Pablo Picasso and Sean Connery images of him. Once again, Pablo Picasso.
yes, here we go. This is another one of my favorite pieces from Jean-Michel Basquiat. A portrait of a young, young artist. Actually, it's called A Portrait of an Artist, a Young Derelict. <laughs> yes, he had an incredible uh, creative and imaginative uh, mind. Uh, and his work lives on to this day and forever. Yes. Jean-Michel Basquiat. Ladies and gentlemen, this piece is on display at Christie's Auction House for the auction sale coming up. Uh, this piece is so high in price, they don't even have an estimate. You you have to call in the estimate, and in order to get an estimate on this, you have to show proof that you have millions to just spend, not just have million, millions to spend, because this piece is going to be in the high millions, above 20 million at least. This is a second piece. This piece is called C-Plate 3. This is another piece from uh, Basquiat, uh, an installation piece. And this piece is actually estimated at uh, three to six million. So, yes. There we go. This is another piece by Ernie Barnes. It is called the Sugar Shack. It is estimated at one hundred and fifty thousand to two hundred thousand. It's on sale uh, in the evening sale for Christie's Auction House. I love this piece. I love this piece. It's, it's one of my favorite pieces in the uh, art show. At the moment. And I, I'm telling you, I can't cover everything. This show is magnificent and massive. Uh, a lot of great work. A lot of great work. But I'm gonna just go through, you know, some of my favorite pieces. To showcase to you guys, and this is definitely one of them the Sugar Shack. Let's take a closer look at the detail. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, the Sugar Shack by Ernie Barnes. Beautiful. All right, this is another one of my favorite pieces. This young man, 
Well, he's no longer here, but he inspired me uh, and my works today. Uh, his style of painting, his abstract work is absolutely amazing to me. It inspired me, it talked to me, and uh, I pay homage to him in a lot of my artwork that I do. Jackson Pollock. This piece is called number 21. Actually, number 31. Sorry. His triptych style, splashes of color, texture. It's just amazing. The energy within the movement of the painting the paint, the drips, the style, the concept. I love it. Like I said, he is my biggest inspiration today. I love uh, Andy Warhol. I love me, you know, Basquiat. I love a lot of great artists out there. But Jackson Pollock is definitely the one that inspired me to start painting in the style that I do and incorporating a bit of his style in my abstract work. This does not even have an estimate on it, so I know it's going to start at least at 20 million. Jackson Pollock, number 31. Hey guys, yes, another one of my favorite artists, Joan Mitchell. I love her abstract work. She is also uh, one of my second biggest inspirations for uh, abstraction and the type of abstract work that I do. Uh, she has a dry, uh, a dry sense of abstraction and coloration but I like it because it's 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 it's, it's uh, minimalist and simple but it, it tells the story uh, that she is trying to convey to the viewer uh, yes uh, very beautiful and as you know abstract work is all about your interpretation and the artist's energy. Beautiful, beautiful piece of work from John Mitchell. Once again, June Mitchell, untitled. All right, this here is a sign and dated Monet from 1907 on display at the Christie's Auction House Art Exhibition and auction coming up. This piece is actually estimated at 35 to 55 million dollars. Claude Modin. Another very highly, highly respected artist. Uh, I'm pretty sure you've heard about Monet's, and this is one of the most amazing pieces that he's done. There are several here on display, but I'm just going to showcase this one as a talking point. Claude Monet, 1907.
Beautiful. Beautiful. This piece is from Emmanuel Letiz. Uh, this piece is entitled Washington Crossing the Delaware. It was done in 1816 to 1868. It is estimated at 15 to 30 million. Uh, it is going to be featured and sold at the Christie's auction. Washington crossing the Delaware. This is the right up front. Fifteen to twenty million. I, I know that this needs to be done. It took bigger to like that around the country, didn't it? Took to be bigger at the metropolitan. But well, we'll, we'll, we'll Google it. We'll Google it. Washington crossing the Delaware. Yes, here's another beautiful piece by Aaron Barnes called Storm Dance. This is the same artist that did the Sugar Shack. Beautiful piece. Beautiful piece. This is from the post-war and contemporary art, they sell. Storm Dance. Amazing. Simply amazing. Storm bands, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. This is also one of my favorite artists. Uh, this is a little steam. Uh, this piece is entitled, uh, but it's hopeless. I love his work. I, I absolutely love his style of work. I don't quite know how to describe it, uh, but um, as you look at it, it has a, like a, a comic book, a cartoon. No, it's not say cartoon, but like a you know a soap opera comic book uh, type of uh, feel. Um, but it's hopeless. Uh, this piece is uh, estimated at six hundred to eight hundred thousand. Uh, and. Christie's auction house. Yes. Beautiful. That's the way it should be. That's the way it should have begun. But it's hopeless. thought process. She seemed to be in a very sad place.
little depressed about the situation or something of the sort. Once again, this is a little steam. Peace is entitled, but it's hopeless. All right, last but not least, I'm going to feature this is the Warhol Maryland Monroe uh, exhibition room. Uh, as you know, Warhol did a lot of um, screen printing images of different celebrities back in the day. And this is his most famous Marilyn Monroe piece. This is a screen print image. And I'm going to close off the show with my son's favorite piece, The Rapture. Yes, this is on display and going to be up for auction at Christie's Auction House. Yes, The Rapture. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Please hit that subscribe button. Tell a friend to tell a friend. <laughs> also hit like and share on your way out. I appreciate you guys viewing with me some of the most amazing pieces at Tristie's Auction House. Bless it up. The Raptor. Real quickly. This is outrageous and amazing at the same time. This Warhol uh, Marilyn Monroe piece that you see me uh, featured in the early part of this video is actually estimated at $200 million. Yes, I said it, $200 million. Oh man, there are some very, very rich people in this world. $200 million. Let's see how much it goes for. Marilyn Monroe, Andy Warhol, screen print.